I'm an independent film producer based in the UK, and I'm the co-director and co-founder of the production company Number Nine Films. Over the past decade, I would say, we have applied to media for what's called Slate Funding, and we've been successful three times. So three of our applications have qualified for the highest amount of funding, which was superb for us. Slate funding encompassed projects such as Carol, which was by Todd Haynes and starred Kate Blanchett and Rini Mara. Colette, which was written by Wash Westmoreland, Richard Glasser and Rebecca Lenkovitz and directed by Wash and starred Kira Knightley. Um, their Finest, which was uh, written by Gabby Chepe and directed by Lone Scherfig. Um, Limehouse Gollum, which starred Bill Nye and was adapted from the Peter Ackroyd book by Jane Goldman. So many of our leading uh, productions over the past 10 years were back during the development phase by media. And those are all films that had worldwide distribution. Um, with top draw independent distributors ranging from Paramount to Sony to Lionsgate to a range of distributors across Europe and the United States and um, throughout the rest of the world. There's a freedom, a creative freedom that comes with the money. And in fact, it's intrinsic to media's ethos as they want to ensure that the producers actually have the rights to the project and that they are in a position to fully engage creatively with the development of that film, to be making creative choices, making the creative decisions, to ensure that that film project is developed under the aegis of the aesthetic that is um, that brands that particular company. Because they decide to back a company, that company has key players. In our case, it, it's me and Stephen Woolley. And media wants to ensure that those key players in that company are able to do the job that they do best without burdens or hindrances. And that's a very, very special thing and rare thing to get with development funding. The other thing that is specific to media and uh, something that that is um, absolutely brilliant for us is that they do have a percentage of the development funding that can go towards overhead. And overhead is something that so few people want to pay in development. Um, and it's essential, you know, you cannot develop projects without having an infrastructure in place. Prior to COVID, that was an office, but you need to have development staff, you need to have assistance, um, you know, you need to have your laptops. There are all sorts of things that you, the infrastructure that, you, that needs to support the development of these projects. And that's something that media are prepared to pay for. Because media is a, is a European-based initiative, it really enhances what we do at number nine, which is we're outward facing. Um, primarily, we look towards Europe. The majority of our projects are either set in Europe or draw on European talent. And certainly, we engage with many European partners in Italy, France, Spain, Germany, regular partners who we go back to again and again for distribution and finance on our films. We're not a, a company which is specific just to the UK. We're a company that wants our film projects to travel internationally. And media absolutely has the same focus and enabled us to do that. Media funding really has been seminal in guaranteeing our existence as a fully independent company. Um, we chose to stay fully independent. We feel that each project is suited to a different end user. You know, there's uh, a certain distributor will benefit that particular film. And we want to be able to have the freedom to take the material that we have script stage completed film stage to different end users and to make sure that it finds the right home. With media money in place, we just know that we've got that added comfort level of finance to properly develop, produce, and take our projects to the, to the wider world. We've had so many great experiences uh, working in Europe. 
and having meetings with our European partners and meeting creative talent in Europe, going to film festivals in Europe, the kind of experiences where you think you're so fortunate to be working in this industry, um, meeting so many fascinating people and going to so many uh, fascinating places. One of the, the memories I have, it sounds so slight, but it was just such a fun day is when we were filming Colette and we were filming, we filmed that film in the UK, in Hungary and in Paris. Um, and the production team that we had in Paris did such a fantastic job and they really wanted to do well by us and also to show off Paris. And I remember on a, one of the days filming, we broke for lunch and the um, production manager said, okay, well, we'll, you know, the lunch is, is down this way. And they walked us through the left bank and then down a ramp onto the river. And there set up actually on the cobblestone banks of the river was this fantastic marquee underneath which were these tables set with linen and cutlery and china plates and with views of Notre Dame. And that was where we had lunch, sitting at these tables being served by the side of the Seine. And I thought, wow, you know, they know how to do it. This is a real experience. It was a far cry from our own dining buses. Not that there's anything wrong with a dining bus, but it was just such a such a memorable day um, thinking, gosh, here's a group of production people in France who are really grateful to be sharing the experience of bringing this film together and wanting to look after us and just creating such a memorable time there. For us as filmmakers, despite coming out of Europe, there is no way that we're going to forget about those relationships that we've built with our European partners. Um, those relationships are still there and always will be there with the current partners and finding new partners. And we will carry on looking to Europe for our inspiration, for our support, for an exchange of cultural ideas, exchange of production finance, all of the things that we've benefited from, we are going to find whatever new channels we need to find to ensure that they continue.